Bluey's voice has changed. As I was watching Bluey in season 1, she had such a vibrant and high-pitched voice. I didn't think much of it. In fact, the only thing I was thinking at this time was that Bluey was a boy until you guys slapped me in the face to make me aware that she is in fact a girl. However, as the seasons moved on, I could tell there was a slight variation to Bluey's voice. Let's listen to the earliest samples of Bluey's voice in season 1 and compare it to the newer seasons. No, it's still my turn. Now let's compare that to the newest season. I don't want to play musical statues. What exactly is going on here? There is a slight variation in her voice. I decided to look further, and I came to a shocking revelation. This is a rare case. Guys, what do I mean by this? Bluey has been running for a while now, but for the first time on my channel, we see that the cartoon characters, voice actors, are not even credited. What? How is this possible? No one has a clue who these voice actors are. For all I know, they could have swapped the original voice actor out for a younger voice due to the effects of puberty. But I don't think that's the case, at least for now. See, voice acting is so complicated in cartoons that each story is different. I made a video analyzing Adventure Time and how the voice of Finn has changed a while ago. What I'm starting to notice with these changes is that each story is unique. Go check out that Finn video after you watch this, link in description down below, trust me it's pretty cool. Anyways, back to Bluey. Why are the voice actors hidden? Who are they? Personally, I believe this was a good decision to protect their identity and privacy. Some of you mega fans might say, oh well Kalobi, shouldn't we at least know who they are? Don't they deserve credit? Shouldn't the public see their face? No. First of all, we aren't owed anything from anyone. Also, the voice actors are young and going through their childhood. We actually saw this phenomenon in my Gumball's voice changing episode, although we did see the kids in the spotlight walking the red carpet, etc. However, I actually went into the psychology of how much this affects younger kids. See, when you're thrown into the spotlight and shown to the world that fast at that age, it can cause serious alterations to your psyche. Now I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing, I'm just saying it can change some things psychologically. But aside from all of that, what are some other changes to Bluey's voice? Mom and Dad's voices are intact, but why is it that when it comes to Bluey's voice, it just sounds slightly different? I can do this! Sean, that is not acceptable behavior! But cricket's just about hitting a ball around the grass! Look. Kids won't be kids forever, I get that. In fact, in chapter 2 of my series, Parents, I told you to write down in your notes that the larynx changes and stiffens as the human body gets older. Now get this, the story is not over. I did mountains of research on this topic, trust me. I actually found out that the production team adds some sort of tweaking to Bluey's voice. They are electronically altering the voice of Bluey. This is the answer we've been looking for. They are pitching the voice higher despite puberty kicking in. In comparison to Cartoon Network who likes to give child actors the boot when they grow out of a role. Seriously, Gumball had like a bajillion voice actors, that thing was insane. But Bluey may just have one. See, they will keep altering it like it's some South Park episode. Eric Cartman is voiced by an adult male. See, in South Park they actually alter the voices as well and it sounds pretty legit. <laughs> Well, no, that doesn't really have any logical sense, mommy, because I'm already being punished by not getting the iPad. Well, no, that doesn't really have any logical sense, mommy, because I'm already being punished by not getting the iPad. Did you notice a change in Bluey's voice? I know that some of my fans are aspiring voice actors, and my advice to you is to keep it up. Keep practicing. Pivoting back to Bluey, I wonder how the voice actors feel about this change. Like, think about it for a second, guys. The voice actors of Bluey, Bingo, whoever, they're probably like, what, 10, 13, 15, whatever age they are, they're eventually going to enter that teenage year with a deeper, mature voice. Yet they're going to be sitting at home watching the latest season and hear this high-pitched tone that is their voice, but it's like their voice from five years ago, three years ago, two years ago. Like, imagine 20 years in the future when the entire cast of Bluey has grown up and they watch the seasons and it's just them still sounding the same. That is crazy. I wonder what that does to the mind. I wonder if they'll laugh at it or I don't know. What a crazy process voice acting is, man. Definitely something to talk about. Oh, but Kalobi, this is obvious. It's just puberty again. No! 
No! Someone's voice change, it could be for so many reasons. I believe that the universe put you in front of this YouTube video today to open up your mind to the wonders of voice acting. It's not an easy job, and there's a lot of lore within these videos, believe it or not. Even I'm shocked. Anyways, if they ever decide to permanently change the age of Bluey, she might genuinely need a new voice actor to match the age of the cartoon. If Bluey is an adult and goes to college, she can't have that squeaky voice that we're used to. They're going to legitimately swap the voice actors out, or they could do the smart thing and just keep the same voice actor because she would have grown with the show IRL, so her voice should have matured with the character. See how that could work out? You know when I was younger, I always wondered how hard voice acting was. I used to think it was just people talking into a mic and then going straight home afterwards. I mean, how hard could acting be? But one thing I realized in life is talented people make their job look easy and simple. When you watch a beautiful animation, the artist is so good at their job, they're making it look like it's easy to do that. When you listen to voice actors, they're so passionate, it just sounds natural. You don't even think twice about it. You don't even think that that's work when it is work. Voice actors are working, even the kids, that's a lot of work. Even I'm working right now, because I don't sound like this in my everyday life. I usually sound like this, yo, what up, monotone, but you know, this drives down engagement, so I can't talk like this. You gotta put some kind of passion into your voice. In fact, when you actually look at how voice actors act, they're literally acting it out in the booth. Look, I'm gonna give you guys a tip if you wanna be a voice actor one day. Whenever you practice, don't have this weird stoic face. Get into the character. Don't be afraid to make ugly faces or weird gestures with your fingers and hands. No, get into that role that they give you and get into the script. Now guys, I'm gonna show you guys an example. I'm gonna voice act Bandit, okay? I'm gonna put my voice on top of the animation of Bandit and let me show you how to do this, okay? Louie, what's wrong with you, mate? You got to realize is that your voice will change. You're going through puberty, mate. It can't stay like that forever. However, we got technology, mate. And that means that we can change your voice forever, mate. How many times am I gonna say mate, mate? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Yeah, that was kind of dumb, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click the subscribe button, click the like button. Make sure you're on board for our new videos on this channel. Go ahead and check out Gumball's voice changing. SpongeBob's voice changing, and also, more importantly, Finn the Human's voice changing. I promise you, it's gonna take you on a trip. It's gonna be a wild ride. You're probably thinking, oh, Kalobi, these videos are all the same. No, no, no. Everyone's different. Each story is unique, like I said earlier in the video. Anyway, thank you guys. I love you all. Bye.